Haley from DTC Media. As you can see, it's a little wet here at Duke Tip. Hurricane Tip is here. Let's hear from Mother Weather Team. Hi, I'm Silk, and I will be your meteorologist today for DTC Media. Today will be a mostly sunny day, so don't forget to wear your shades. The high today will be 87 with a, and the low will be 77 with a 60% chance of rain. Now here's Catherine with the boat. The high tide won't happen until 12.59 a.m. tomorrow. The low tide will be at 5.52 p.m. For everyone on the water today, expect tropical waters. Also, watch for the rip currents. If you get caught in one, swim parallel to the shore. It will get you all faster. There's also a flood watch today. This is meteorologist Catherine Trainer. Now we will turn it over to meteorologist Xavier, who will be updating you on the status of Hurricane Tip. How's it looking with Xavier? Uh, thanks, Katrina. Now let's go to the map. As you can see, Hurricane Tip has grown overnight. Uh, the wind speeds is 175 miles per hour. Tip will continue to intensify and will reach land very soon. Back to you. Thanks, team. Remember to stay inside and keep an umbrella with you at all times. Now let's hear from Kate interviewing Julia and Evan. Hi, I'm Kate, and I'm reporting live for DTC Media. I'm here with Julia and Evan, and they're from Public Health and Medicine, and we're going to talk about what they can do for Hurricane Tip. So guys, what preparations do you have for Hurricane Tip? Well, lately we've been studying a lot that are in the systems of the body and how a hurricane can affect them, and so we've come up with different ways to um, prevent the hurricane from affecting these systems badly. Okay, and what are you going to do on your trip to the hospital tomorrow? Well, the, at the hospital we're hoping to find out about how hospitals here in, here in the Tampa Bay area um, prepare and just kind of prepare for this hurricane and how they deal with it if they take patients off or do they have generators that power the whole thing and how they just kind of deal with it. And how are you going to connect with other research groups to help with your preparations for TIP? Um, we're going to use the media and communications. Communications-wise, we're going to have to contact other hospitals in, a, in safe areas so that critical patients in hospitals can be moved to safe areas. So that way, if it comes to down to having no power or no wire or no net, things that they need, they can be in a safe place where there is where those things are available. And the media is also extremely important in the way that evacuations and distributing and distributing information about how they're going, how you can stay safe. Okay. Well, I'm Kay with Julia and Evan, and I'm reporting for DTC Media. Back to you, Haley. Thanks, Kay. This is Haley reporting from DTC Media, signing off. See you tomorrow.